What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today I'm going to show you how you can export your Godot game in the browser. So currently I have a basic game where you could just click to actually just increase your score. It's a super simple game and what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to build this. So first things first, you will need to be using either the mobile or compatible renderer. Forward Plus will not work for this. You will then need to go over to your editor and go to manage export templates. I already have it installed, but what you need to do is select the official GitHub release mirror or any of the above. I normally use this one. All three of these will work and just click download and install and that will install this for you. Once that is done, it shouldn't take too long. Um, you want to come over to project and go to export and we want to add in a web uh, executable here or preset. And then inside the web, you don't actually really need to change anything. You can mess around with some of the settings if you know what you're doing. But personally, I think this will just work straight from the, well, straight as it is. So what we want to do is just go to export project and then it asks us to give it a name and to save it. What I want to do is create a new folder called web. Um, and inside of the web folder, I'm just going to click save. Now that will export it straight to our project. So let me just open up the project file. So inside of our project, I have a builds folder and now you can see I have a web folder. Now double clicking this will open it up in the browser. However, you're gonna get this error because you kind of need a web surfer to be able to run it. So you can either upload this um, folder. You wanna zip all this up and upload it to itch.io and people will be able to play it on itch.io or you can just run a local web uh, serve for yourself. So you need npm or mpx or npm installed to do this. Um, so just go over to node, uh, node.js and we can go to download here. And if you install one of these for Windows, it will come with npm. And once you finish this installation, you'll be able to follow along. So what I could do is just reopen up the project folder. And we want to open up the web folder with the HTML in. I'm then going to show this, uh, click open with code. Now with that installed, I'm going to run this command. The command is mpx local web surfer https double hyphen 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 course dot embedded policy require corp hyphen hyphen course dot opener policy same origin and then set the directory to be the current directory uh, by hitting dot as long as your um, html file is dot index.html if it's not just rename it to be index.html and you'll be able to hit enter this will ask you to install it you just hit y and once you've done that you can then alt click this end one here to open it up in a browser you may have to refresh to get it to work the first time but here you go you can see it's now working in the browser as expected and that's all there is to it to build your own web build of this so i hope this has taught you something new if it has don't forget to leave a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video peace out